Hi, I want to grow my own plants, but I live in the city in a small apartment and I don't have enough space for a big grow box like this in my house. So instead, I built myself a mini grow box. This little grow box is small enough to fit everywhere in my house. However, when I did my first grow in it, the outcome was not great. The plants all turned yellow and brown and I thought they are going to die. I had given too much fertilizer. Luckily, they survived and I harvested 21 grams. 21 grams of what? Tomatoes. 21 grams of tomatoes. I was happy to have 21 grams, but I also knew I could have gotten more, so I then decided I'm going to build version number two of this grow box. I went to work. I had to learn some new skills, for example, programming and electronics. Eventually, version number two was ready. With this grow box, I never have to give any fertilizer because it uses a special soil that already has all the nutrients in it. Here's another problem I had on my first grow. I always had to check if they need water. Open up the tent, put my hand in there and then make a decision, water or not. It's fun the first 50 times, but I didn't really want to do that anymore. So instead, tomato tent has a little gauge here, which tells me if this goes all the way down, I know I have to give them water. My apartment has neighbors above, underneath, left and right. I couldn't really have any smell coming out of this thing. So I installed a really strong air filter. This air filter removes all the smell. I'd like to sleep well, so this thing had to be quiet. All the noise comes from the fan. Plants need lots of fresh air. However, tomato tent has got an intelligent fan. It automatically slows down if not needed. Some people have told me that with such a small box, you will only get a really small harvest. It's not worth it. And there's some truth to it. This is a small unit. It produces enough for one person and a friend. On my first grow, where my plants became sick, I harvested 21 grams. The plants got sick because I gave them too much fertilizer. This, however, is version number two. And it's got a special soil that automatically gives the exact right amount of fertilizer. But to really get the best possible harvest, I had to use a good grow light. It uses quality Samsung LEDs, trying to get as close as possible to sunlight. I would do my growing at night, so the rest of the house was dark. And then I would open my tent and it's just so bright. I tried to help myself wearing sunglasses, but that isn't enough. To fix this problem, I added a button here at the top. If I press it, the light dims down and I can now safely work on my plants. The other day I was checking my Twitter and there were a lot of people tweeting about their Tesla electric car. They were driving to work and they noticed that suddenly the Tesla had a lot more power. And that's because Tesla had put a software update into the car without having to go to a workshop. That reminded me of Tomato Tent because Tomato Tent can also receive software updates. I will be building new features. I can then push a button and all the tomato tents everywhere will get this new feature. That way tomato tent always stays up to date. That's a lot of effort for a few tomatoes. I posted videos of tomato tent online and the response was really, really nice. People even said they wanted to buy one of these. So I tried to find out if I could build more. Firstly, I had to know how much would I have to charge for one. When I added up all the money spent to build this very first one, it came to just about $3,200. That number is quite high because this is the very first one I've ever built and there was trial and error involved. I wouldn't want to sell this for $3,200. Even though it might even be worth that much because you get a machine that delivers you unlimited free tomatoes for years, then it's not really a cost. It's an investment because this crop is kind of expensive. What's expensive? Tomatoes. No, they're not. If this crowdfunding campaign succeeds, I can buy a full container of components. That will make everything a lot cheaper. I can then sell tomato tent for $650. There's a further discount for everyone who supports this campaign. The earlier you buy, the bigger the discount. At the top of the campaign page, the one that says featured, that shows the current price. Click on it, then click the button get this perk. It will ask for your shipping address and you can submit payment by credit card. Some of you may think, well, this is all nice and interesting. However, I don't really know how to use this. There are two things I did for you. Firstly, I've written this manual 
which tells you exactly what to do. If you follow the instructions in here, you will get a harvest. And secondly, you can also get help from real people. I created an online community. That's kind of like a place on the internet where people can talk to each other. Only tomato tent owners can get in. Can it grow cucumbers? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I can grow cucumbers, no worries. How about sausages? Because you're German. All right, that's it, okay? I'm gonna close this door. When you buy tomato tent, this is what you get. The complete tent set, the special soil, you get the booklet and you get membership to the Tomato 10 community. Tomato 10 is what I believe the world's best grow box. It is available now for the first time in this crowdfunding campaign. Make sure you take advantage of the discounts available only here. It will never again be this cheap. Thank you for watching my video. I hope to see you soon.